Hi everyone, just want to share a toilet paper mini with you. This is a mini album that I made for my daughter's girlfriend. My daughter is a dancer and dancers, dances several days a week with a good friend of hers. And we put together some of their photos in this mini album and then um, all the journaling spots we left blank so that she can fill those out. But here it is, it's a toilet paper mini I used um, it's got uh, three rolls that I covered completely. I used K and Company paper. This was the set. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but it's a beautiful floral two-sided set of paper. It has a lot of um, flowers and animals and um, actually like little stamps in it. So, this is the front cover. Used a piece of acetate and stamped on it with stays on. Uh, put a little flower on there that my girlfriend Kim gave me. Thank you, Kim. And just made a little tag with a picture of the two of them from recital last year. And here's an example of this paper. It's just really beautiful paper. So, I left that blank. Put a little, a couple little stamp die cuts on there. I actually found a set of die cuts that I had bought like a year ago that matches this set of paper. So that worked out great. Did a couple of tags. This one says dancer and I did some flocking powder and just some stamps, antique button, some fibers and a little journaling spot. And the other tag, again, has a journaling spot that I stamped. Put a little bobble on there. It says, we. Um, I tend to make a lot of errors when I'm working on projects. The, f the first roll that I did, I had actually punched with my bind it all on the wrong side, so I had to cover it with ribbon. But then I really liked the way it looked, and I continued the ribbon on the end through the other three cards. So, and then the inside cover is another picture of them. This was last summer at the county fair. Used a heart charm and a safety pin. And then I, I surrounded this picture. I put the picture on a piece of cardstock that was just a smidge bigger and surrounded it with this purple really thin little rope ribbon that has um, sparkly glitter pieces coming off it and it took quite a while to do that. I used some quick dry glue to put that on there but I love the way that it came out and um, really kind of frames them really nice and gives it a little shimmer. Second page or the second roll made this flower with mulberry paper and just glimmer misted it and scrunched it up as it was drying with my heat gun. I was scrunching and drying. I really like to make those. Use some seam binding tape from my sewing supplies and just inked it and stamped it with laughter and then made this little booklet. A picture of the two of them. They were shopping at the mall for some dance supplies and actually my little one was in a wheelchair because she had fractured her foot and her friend was pushing her around. It was very sweet. Oh, excuse me. And I uh, love this little Tim Holtz crown. Just place that on her head. And this is the inside. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass but learning to dance in the rain and that was a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, I received these from a swap I was in, a couple of inchies. I love these little old-fashioned girls. His Friends Forever and Dreamer journaling spot. Um, little Believe stamp on a piece of acetate and another journaling spot on the back. And that fits right into this pocket. Please excuse my hands. They're very dry and a little bit cracked from the winter season here. And another stamped tag. Um, the back of this one I had put a little bit of mulberry paper on and then put a die cut over the top of it. Added the little butterfly charm to match the butterfly ribbon. And 
And the back of that page. I used a die cut tag for this one with a couple of die cuts on a piece of acetate for the pocket. Just a picture of them hanging out after class. And just stickled the back of it. Everything in this album was just inked a little bit around the edges. I had a piece of, a little skinny piece of denim paper, so I thought that looked cute there. A couple of Tim Holtz flowers. And then the last section, I love this. This saying um, says, live, love, laugh, dance. And that's her girlfriend's favorite saying. Um, I used a little bit of, uh, this is like chiffon, rhinestone fabric, and just heat sealed the edges. Use some alcohol ink on the feathers to help them match a little bit better than they did before. And uh, just printed their names out on the computer. Added a couple rhinestones and a die cut on the back. Put a little bit of embellishing underneath here just so it would have a little bit of interest when she took the card out and then this was my favorite tag of the of the bunch that I made it says believe I embossed that with some silver embossing added the metal plate did some coloring on the stamp and then I love this is the same set of paper this little horse or donkey or whatever he is so cute and then it had a stamp next to it that said New York, and we live in New York, so I thought that was nice. And then the back side, another picture of them just hanging out. This is a little fold-out clip book. It has a little tiny tag to do some journaling. And a Tim Holtz paper clip, and then a little heart locket that actually opens up and another little inchy I just cut out and put a little plastic bobble over the top of and then it opens up and it has this poem inside it says we dance for laughter we dance for tears we dance for madness we dance for fears we dance for hope we dance for screams we are the dancers we create the dreams I just thought that was really sweet I got that off the internet and just printed it out right on the cardstock and then put a piece of acetate over it to protect the printing because it was uh, just smearing a little bit. Um, so that's why I used the acetate. Another journaling spot. And just plain on the back. And then underneath it, just a die cut, I stamped a couple of tags that says beautiful and friend. Added a little dragonfly. So this clips back on, added some fibers, bound it with my bind it all, and then one of my favorite little things is I added just a glass bead and this little heart locket, and inside the heart locket, the two girls are doing a lyrical duet together this year, which they've worked very hard on, and they're very excited to perform it, and I had a little bit uh, fabric from the costumes left over so I put a little tiny piece of the fabric inside. So that's all. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit busy but she's 11 years old and I th I'm hoping that she'll like all the uh, little working parts and the journaling spots for her to fill out and we're going to give it to her tonight. So just wanted to share it with you all first. Thanks so much. Have a great day.